middle of the day and I'm filming in my kitchen. I've got a big pile of chimney flask that I'm working on. Hi, you may know me as Furbling Channel. And that's who I am. I uh, went to Goodwill. I walked into the toy section of Goodwill today. It was a very nice Goodwill. It's Goodwill that usually had a lot of, you know, just like random bootlegs, nothing super crazy rare. And I said to myself, I'm only going to get rare stuff if it shows up. I'm not going to get, you know, a fuck ton of random bootlegs. So here's a fuck ton of random bootleg that I got in that it's a good build bag. First up, we have pirate, pirates. It's a sword. It's got. Can't really test this one. It came that way. It was that way. It was like that when I found it. Uh, also, this, which I don't know how that's off. Oh, it's off because it's so yeah. The keys light up. And then you can do this. Oh, wait a sec. <laughs> I thought I was playing the song. I was just pushing random keys on the keyboard, and I was like, wait, I'm actually playing, like, the exact, like, melody that all these China fakes use. And then I was like, oh, wait. funny but this one is in better condition uh, sort of like wheel wide I guess uh, it's one of the China fake disco ball Miloia guys it's nothing really super special about it gotta undo the uh, the screwed driver here that sounds ever-ready, heavy-duty, leak-proof. Uh, my fingers are covered in battery acid. So, make of that leak-proof statement what you will. Space between the words Amazon and Basics on all libraries, sir. Am I going insane? And there always has been. And I'm going insane. All right, you ready? This one, this one's real. Works a lot better. nearly enough. 
still be a stunt car. It's just a pretty generic stunt car knockoff by Grand X Intel. Or definitely not by them, but imported by them. Make them out of China. Says on the bottom. I'm gonna undo that tab. Jesus. Ooh. This thing takes an entire four double A's. find a speaker on this one, but I might have one. I'm unsure. Nope, just, just blinky lights. That's, uh, interesting. Yeah, that's a, so that's a new stunt car. Uh, definitely one that I haven't seen before. Obviously, you guys can't see any of this, but I'm working on it. Screw on the thing back in. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a new stunt car. Stunt car, it can, it can stunt Hand the camera down slightly. God damn it. Well, okay, not pan the camera down slightly in that case. Oh god, now nothing works. Oh, Jesus Christ. This piece of shit iPad case. Okay, there we go. We're not gonna pan the camera down, apparently. There's no case for this thing. The current one is just like broken. Beyond belief. I actually like this robot. Line control. Um, Dingler. Uh, the marking on the back of it was 1992 Soma, made in China. It's not something that I've heard of before. Didn't think this was that old. I thought that this would be like early 2000s or something, but no. Huh. There's a knot in the control wire, so I'm gonna I'm untying that right now. Incredibly annoying knot to the kind of knot that you not want to have. But I'm oh, I'll get it. Um, yeah, this one only takes two double A's. It's got a forward and a backward button. And then in addition, uh, it has that is, that is uh, that's the worst battery compartment I've had to deal with in a good while. But in addition, it has three other buttons on the remote. So we're going to see what those do. Just a sec here. Here's, here's our remote. Here's our robot. So it looks like more like a man inside a mech suit. Like, forward button obviously goes forward. Yes, it does. Backward button. Backward button does that. Backward button apparently makes him. Oh no. Know. You can make him say robot. Drop your weapons. And speaker. It's got one of those just like traditional China fake speakers that every China fake ever has in it. And it's just completely unmarked except for made in China, so looks like it might be interesting. Again, there's no company on this. I have zero idea who's responsible for this. It does seem pretty modern. The next one I show you, the last one, is probably going to be even more mysterious to be honest. that one. And yeah, sorry I haven't been doing a lot of these recently. I haven't been finding that much good stuff at thrift stores. 
once again takes two double A's. They're set next to the Ever Ready's. It's got a screw in the battery compartment, which means when you take it apart, it's going to suck. No markings inside of the battery compartment either, it just says alkaline batteries required, or alkaline batteries recommended, and two AA sized batteries. There's all it says in the battery compartment. So yeah, I have zero idea who is responsible for this. I have zero idea if this even will work. I have, I have zero idea about a lot of things, actually. It looks like a normal size like screw, but then it's got like the tiniest threads in existence. So you have to turn it like way more than should be necessary for a screw of this of that length and size. It's ridiculous. It's insane. Okay, so I do not know if this works. Again, I have not tested any of these. So I have zero idea if any of this stuff is. There's the cat. Uh, dog and pig buttons inside here. We got some gears, which do not seem to be working very well. We got a cat in here that we can push on that does nothing seemingly. Oh, uh, maybe it pops out when you uh, got a pretty traditional bootleg synth chip in it. 